<laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there, Dennis. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Oh, you're toast, Walter! <laughs> This week, miss. It's Monday, and you've been late every day this term. The rest of you aren't much better either, except for you, Walter, 100%. Perhaps people would make more effort if there was a proper punishment for being late, miss. <sighs> You're right, Walter. Anyone late for school this week won't be going to be no town fair. Aha! Aha! Quiet! <laughs> Make Walter late for school. How? He's never been late for anything in his life. There's no way Dennis is coming on that trip. Whatever it takes, I'm going to make him late for school. Uh, isn't he always late for school anyway? Shut up, Bertie. Shut up, Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I think I may have an idea. to move that brick. Stop his car? There's no other way. You got a better idea? Mm. What do you think, Payface? Look, I glued Paul so he can have a swing. Cool. And um, how are you going to get him off again? Easy, I'll just put... <laughs> Paul, what have I done? Huh? He won't fall for the window trick again. We need to think of something new. Right. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Heave! Heave! Aha! I have it! Remove that brick.
Important, don't you think, Miss? Unless you're Dennis, of course. Unfortunately, Mrs. Creature has banned me from using the helicopter again, but no matter. With this transmitter, I'm going to know all Dennis's pranks in advance. Pie face! How's a... Um, uh, potato thingy? Oh, he's still quite sore. Oh, dear. Maybe this will help. Wow, thanks, Walter. He wants to say thank you himself. Go on, Paul. Don't be shy. Hmm. We need to find something to distract him. What does Walter really care about? Guys, I think Paul's going to make it. <gasps> That's it. Walter loves his pet cat. So what I'm thinking is... <laughs> for school if he thinks Claudius is missing. <coughs> Cat biscuits, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. I've got you this time, Dennis the Menace. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> nash, 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 nash. <laughs> Brilliant! Claudius has taken the biscuit bait. <laughs> 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 Once again, Genius wears a striped jumper. Uh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks, Dennis. Claudius loves these. <laughs> Don't be too late for school. Nasha! One. Hey, Nasha. Boy! <laughs> Get him, Nasha! Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! Menacing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Look on the bright side, miss. We're not late for school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Nasha. Nobody gets in that door. Dennis, we're going on a family holiday whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> Please, Auntie Prue, 
500 star chumps before breakfast is so much. Nonsense. You need to earn your wheat jump porridge. Now, put your backs into it, spit spot. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Auntie Prue's, we've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. Mm. Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Let's get packing, Nasha. Mm. Hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the five hundredth time, no. Ugh. Try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K. Into slot nine. I'm taking care not to... Can I check out the campsite, Dad? Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. <laughs> hey! Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. <laughs> And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style, am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter. Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> bye bye for now. Cool archery. <laughs> <laughs> Felt it pens, so we can do some fun colouring in, of course. Colouring in? What about archery? Oh no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the uh <laughs> <laughs> bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge here! Oh, if you want to stay, you have to oh, to do what I tell you! <laughs> Maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. That. Nash. <laughs> okay, maybe it is better here. Just. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <laughs> to the adventure playground. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> More like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet? Not likely. <laughs> more water. We need more water. Whatever you say, Walter. <laughs> about it, you'll have to leave. And we both know what that means. Uh, can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense. Prune juice is good for you. <laughs> ah, this holiday's turning into a real washout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. 
Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time! <laughs> Am I right? Yes! Yes! Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey! hey! Tell you what! There's a scavenger hunt tomorrow, yeah! Why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world! Am I right? Oh, I love my job! <laughs> Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out! And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, well, it's gonna be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. <laughs> like Dad says, Proper camping food. Up your hungry bee. <laughs> They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, bee? <laughs> <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that pong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. Let's make this list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Nice, nice. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Are simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> 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 Your hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. <laughs> uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? Yes. It was on Walter's list. Look, let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Birthface cheek. Uh, a hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. It's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids! Who would you like in charge? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Well, looks like we have a winner. Am I right? Yes! Oh, I'm not wrong. Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? No. Oh, cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Delivery! One new tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this?
Smash, smash! And it's another perfect ten for D and G. Mornings are for medicine, eh, Nasha? Nah. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. <laughs> Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> Disasters? Check. Now for TV. Hey! <laughs> Be in charge is brilliant. How do you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly. But Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. <laughs> And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr. Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Hi! Hi! Hi, Gran! Nash! Nash! Hi, kids! Come watch the Grandmeister! I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran! There's a tiger on the loose and me and Nasha are gonna catch it today! We'll be heroes! That's nice, Dennis. I join you, but I'm babysitting. Hi! Yeah! All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! There's a dangerous animal on the loose. Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. <laughs> you couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, bait, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi! Oh, Don't worry, B dear, Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! Smash! And smash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash! Nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis! Haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it! <laughs> oh, Pordy! Then <laughs> to the bunker! Hunting's awesome! Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. 
I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. <laughs> oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's round here? Look, Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> 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 Here, you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. <laughs> Tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha. Huh? <gasps> hey, you get away from my tiger trap. Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beano Town's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... <coughs> oh, what are you doing? <coughs> get off! That's <coughs> finest <coughs> rump steak! <coughs> They locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild feline to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Dennis! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! <laughs> Today, we're putting the fun into fun raising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. 
I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. <laughs> no way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Leaving Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> right -o, hop on. Oh. Give me up! Oh, I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, crease the baking trays. Nash, nash. Carly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you the Walter Wafer. <laughs> I give you the Menace Mouthful. Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. <laughs> The decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. Uh, there. Oh. First satisfied <laughs> customer. Let's get back to school and start selling. Our oh, Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. So, cash only, keep the line moving. <laughs> no one can resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come. La, la, la. From the frozen oh, north oh, oh, to the Straits of Gibraltar. Oh, 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 oh. It's no snack better than a wafer from Walter. Oh, oh that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers. Finest cookies in Bean Hotel. Time for Plan C, then. Oh, Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. Oh. <laughs> Wait, come back. Uh, special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says menace mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. <laughs> this is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful? Right. <laughs> Two can play at that game. Hello? Been on Town TV? Meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> okay, we need some lipstick, balloons, a 
and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. Chew. I, I've got your story here. Just upload this video file. <sighs> Why not? Time for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects dizziness. <laughs> Strange squiggles on your face. And finally... If you don't want your head to explode... Buy Minnie's Mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis's scared off our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. We sold 158. And Walter sold 154. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, because I bought a box. They're really nice. Doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the entertainment square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shedington Grouse, we waited 57 days, don't you know? Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow! That really was fast! Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Oh, uh, probably your stomach rumbling. Hungry for some Walter wafers? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! <laughs> and here's your prize. Three passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. <laughs> <laughs>
scream when they see us, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash! Same reason they write these complaints, Dennis. Your pranks. Today, Dennis, Mum and I expect, insist, demand, hope you do nothing for the rest of the day. If there are any more of your usual pranks, you'll have to do every one of these jobs around the house. Ah, got it. None of my usual pranks. All day. Hush. <laughs> About time you were restrained. No problem, Walter, cos I'm not going to do any of my usual pranks. Good. Peace and quiet at last. I'm going to do the ultimate prank. What? Ow! Get off. He's doing what? The ultimate prank? This is a disaster! Emergency meeting at the Colonel's house now! <laughs> It's me. Who's me? How should I know who you are? It, it's Sergeant Slipper. Open up in the name of the law. Uh, uh, uh. You have to do the secret knock. No. Oh. Wrong. No. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Are you some sort of imposter? But you didn't tell me the secret knock. Huh. Wouldn't be a secret if I told you. Uh, we'll be here forever waiting for them. Yes. Good thinking, Nasha. Let's do it. <laughs> Not even close. Ow, 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 ow. Spot on, Sergeant. I knew you'd get it in the end. Finally. <laughs> Nifty knocking, Nasha. And now we wait. <laughs> Quick game to pass the time. Nash! Nash! Concerned citizens, we are facing the most terrifying problem ever to face Beano down in the face. Oh. Dennis is planning the ultimate prank. <gasps> Indeed. But what will it be? We have to know. Maybe he's going to put hair dye in the shampoo. <laughs> la, 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 la. Already done it. <gasps> oh, maybe he's going to mix itching powder with the laundry. Oh, seems to be itching. Ah, 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 help somebody, please! Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> no, he's done that one too. Then what? What? For the love of Queen and Country, the ultimate prank! It's sure to be something absolutely horrifyingly terrible! Gentlemen and lady, the fate of Beano Town and possibly the world rests in our hands. We must keep him under surveil. Su uh, su surveil, su uh, surveil. We must keep a close eye on him. And I have just the chap for this kind of operation. Corporal Tinkle, Tate Hunt! <laughs> Young Corporal Tinkle here just volunteered. Uh, oh. Well done, Tinkle. This could mean a promotion. Oh, about time, too. <laughs> now, let's see what enemy activity Tinkle has to report. Closely, Nasha. This is the ultimate prank. Mrs. Miggins, huh? vegetable garden first. What? What did he say? That's Mrs. Miggins' prize winning vegetable garden, number 42, opposite the bus stop. Oh, thank you. Then off to see Parky Bowls down in the park. Huh? After that, we'll visit those new exotic fish at the pond. Mmm. <laughs> Then fly by Grant's house five minutes later, and finally we'll end up at the corner of Biffo Street and Snooty Avenue. Nash, 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 nash. He's covering half of Beano Town. This is going to be the biggest prank ever. The horror. We must stop Dennis. Mrs. Creature, you take Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant, you keep an eye on Parky Bowles. Colonel, you head over to Dennis's grand's house. Claudius and I will guard the fish pond. We'll meet at the final rendezvous later. Very well. Commencing Operation Secret Spy. No, 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 no. Too, too obvious. 
What about Operation Follow Dennis? Oh, no, I know, I know. Operation Foil the Fiend. No, no, I disagree. Oh, Colonel, you are wrong. It should just be called Secret Operation. He's getting away! Operation He's Getting Away? No, no, that's no good. Oh, for goodness sake! How about Operation Will Everyone Please Stop Talking and Catch Dennis? Yes, that'll do. Yeah, works for me. Catchy. Now, split up! Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mrs. Miggins' prize winning carrots are famous. Her potatoes are priceless and her turnips are terrific. I must save the vegetables. Dennis, stop! <laughs> 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 What have you done to Mrs. Miggins prize winning garden? Oh no. Hey, hey, no mischief you do. I'm pruning. He wouldn't. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Nasha. Of course he would. Move! Official police tree! Sorry. Sergeant Slipper, what are you doing? Undercover operations? Special branch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Claudius, you after those new ever so expensive exotic fish? Oh, Parky Balls will go mad if you've scoffed one. <laughs> wow, you're much braver than me. I wouldn't go anywhere near those piranha fish. <laughs> piranha fish? <laughs> Luckily, they're rare, toothless piranha. They don't bite, but whoa, they have a mean sucking action. <coughs> hey, you! My rare, exotic, toothless piranha fish! Come here, you two! <coughs> <coughs> Enemy approaching! Take cover! Uh. <laughs> ah, nice pig! Good pig! Where's Dennis now? Yes, <laughs> now! Ah, what are you two doing over there? Us two? Over here? Well, what we're not doing is standing in wet cement. <laughs> Today cannot get any worse. <laughs> Oi, what you lot done to my cement? I'll have you. Come here! <laughs> get back here! What have you done? I haven't done anything, Dad. But, but look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Mrs. Creature ruined Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant Slipper damaged Parky Ball's hedge. You frightened the piranhas, Walter. And you jumped into Harvey's pen kernel. The ultimate prank was everyone else thinking I would do something. I didn't have to do anything. What? By Jove, the boy's a master strategist. Oh. Let me get this right, Dennis. You pranked everyone by not pranking them. Yep. Well, in that case, you are now banned from doing nothing. Never do nothing ever again. Yes! yes. yes. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs>